time again now for Living the Dream. And this week, we're meeting someone who's taken a creative talent and turned it into a way of life. Not only that, but she also works from home, which, of course, many of us would say is a dream in itself. Clementine Nuttall makes wonderful carvings in wood and stone in the studio she's created at her home near Lip Hook in West Sussex. Now, I went to meet her as she was starting a new project and reflecting on one of her greatest, you could even say, royal achievements. It's a real joy to be able to come out of, you know, my house that is there, cross over the garden path and I'm at work. I love that. I love that that's my commute. I spend all day every day in here and I'll be in here usually seven days a week and I feel really lucky to be able to do it every day and if not living the dream then I definitely feel like I'm pursuing it. It starts as a block and then you just have stripes and gouges through it and you just start modelling the shapes out of it. Look at this uh, behind you here, I mean how, how many tools are you talking about here? I mean how many tools have you got that you use? Well, I've. I've got and used at least a couple of hundred, but I'm still collecting and ultimately I'd like to have at least a thousand. Do you know what it reminds me of? It's like the dentist, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, well, funnily enough, sometimes I have actually <laughs> used dentist I mean... tools because they're so fine. Clementine doesn't only carve wood. This may appear to be a cold grey block of Portland stone, but through her eyes, it's something entirely different. So what are you working on here then? So this is a figure of a medieval saint that I've modelled in clay and now I'm just working out how to transfer it into this beautiful piece of Portland limestone. For me, when I see a bit of stone, actually it seems quite malleable in a way. I tend to be thinking of it more as, as something that I'm going to be able to push around as, you know, almost as you would with clay. Is there a sort of an excitement in you? Is there a, is there a moment of, oh, I'm really starting a new project? Especially the first week where you're really just making big shapes and it's really exciting. I know exactly where I'm going with something from the moment that I start. Each stage has its, um, you know, its pleasures and its frustrations, really. <laughs> but this, these first stages are, are particularly fun. So what was the last significant stone piece that you did? The, um, the last important piece that I did was a new grotesque for St George's Chapel at Windsor Castle. Oh, it's really, really exciting to see. I mean, I, it does make it all seem real in a way that it doesn't when you're carving it in your workshop at home. <laughs> when you're making it, you don't, you don't imagine it's ever going to you know, go somewhere so special. Do you really do feel as though you're part of a journey of an evolution of something that's really much bigger than yourself? And that's brilliant. <laughs> Up and coming, and I'm sure we'll be able to see a lot more of her in the work that she does. That's Clementine Nuttall. Such a talent as well. Imagine if you it? clunk it a bit too hard and a bit goes flying off and you've been working on it It does forever. happen, apparently. Oh, right, it does okay. happen, yeah. Did we wake you up in the middle of that piece, by the way? <laughs> 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 so we're <just> gently... <laughs> <laughs>